welcome to the um, Sprint 2 demo uh, for the Exhibit's 2020 work cycle. Um, we've been making a lot of headway on a couple of um, uh, aspects of the project that uh, we're going to demo today. Um, one of the ones that kind of just uh, pause here on our stage environment uh, and mention briefly is that uh, the team has been making progress on various aspects of the Blacklight 7 and Bootstrap 4 upgrade. Um, we've been regularly deploying this work to our staging environment uh, for review um, with the exhibits that are there and uh, making improvements uh, to that. Uh, a lot of this work has been happening uh, actually upstream in Spotlight itself, um, which is uh, really great and will be a, a big benefit to uh, all the folks that will be either uh, using the latest major version of Spotlight that will get released or will be um, updating because uh, they would undoubtedly run into this too. And kind of one of the things that's that stands out is um, things like the, uh, the, the tabs here uh, being addressed where uh, I believe in the last demo there were some um, some stylistic issues. So uh, we, the team has been uh, cracking away at these uh, as we've been going. Um, the something that I would like to show that uh, is in production um, now is uh, the ability to um, update the height of uh, item embeds. Uh, so as you can see uh, on this feature page, I have a small bit of content, uh, text content to the left, and um, I have the uh, a, an item from the SDR embedded to the right. Um, in previous versions of the Exhibits app, um, you were not really able to determine the height of this, uh, of this embed. Uh, we now give you the option, uh, as you can see here, there is a um, uh, 600 pixel um, uh, default that is set, but if I were to go and change that to something like 300 and update that, you can see that um, I'm able to actually control the height of this uh, embed viewer. Um, and this is a feature that is now uh, available to all of our exhibits in production. And I'm going to hand it over to Jack. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, another feature that's been fixed in production this week is the search results. Um, showing you the back to you. Uh, previously, this has been broken for a little bit, where um, when you use the uh, heat map view in um, and the results here, uh, you didn't actually get anything that showed up in this. Just a kind of plain map, no way to see any search results. So that's been now updated. So as I zoom and, and change here, this heat map updates. And I can select uh, data here and uh, get to an item result page. And now I'm going to turn it over to Gary. Uh, thanks, Jack. Um, I'm going to talk about a feature that the team hasn't started implementing yet, um, but it's a fairly big feature. So uh, we thought we would uh, show the plan design for the feature. And uh, this is a feature we're calling Search Across Exhibits. And the motivation behind this is um, currently, um, when you're looking at any given Spotlight exhibit, you, of course, can uh, do a search in that exhibit um, and you know, see the search results for the items uh, that match your search uh, in that particular exhibit. Uh, but um, as the number of our exhibits have increasing or have been increasing, and at Stanford, um, as of today, I believe we have 98 uh, published exhibits, um, the likelihood increases that users uh, might want to uh, conduct a search across uh, multiple exhibits. Um, so a user might want to enter a search term and see, you know, which of the 12 or so map and geography exhibits uh, might have relevant items or the 20 plus humanities related exhibits uh, might have uh, relevant results for their uh, terms of interest. So this has motivated us to um, uh, figure out how to enable the user to search across all of our published exhibits um, in a single search. So this is our current um, sort of home for exhibits, uh, the exhibits landing page. 
um, where we list all of our exhibits. Um, and uh, this is sort of the logical location for a search that would encompass all the exhibits. So this is how the landing page looks now. Um, and the plan with this design is to um, add to this uh, basic page over here in the sidebar on, on the right um, to add uh, some search features here. So we have a basic search box um, and some basic facets uh, that I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. Um, and um, the user, of course, now would be able to use this, the search in the facets to conduct a search that would uh, now search all the documents um, in all exhibits. And they would get a result page here um, that looks you know, very similar to what they would be used to um, when using the individual exhibits. Um, so uh, the sort of uh, makeup of this uh, results page um, is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're looking at um, individual results, which is represented by this all results option and the sort of default list view. Um, so very similar to what you see in list view in an individual exhibit, the title, thumbnail of matching item, um, some minimal metadata, um, and the, uh, the titles of the exhibits in which the uh, result item is part of. So um, these last three are pretty straightforward. They all exist in one exhibit. Um, and uh, this first one's a little different in that uh, this item happens to be in three uh, different exhibits. So we'll list the title of each of those exhibits. And um, the user would have a couple options in this view. Um, if they were interested in basically doing a search um, at, the, at the across exhibits level, just to find out which exhibits um, might have um, content that's related to an interest that they've expressed through their search, they might wanna just go to um, say, this looks good. I wanna go see this um, Stanford Geological Survey Collection exhibit. So they can click on the exhibit title and then they would go, we would take them to the homepage of that exhibit. Uh, another uh, possibility for the user is they really are interested in this particular item that, that's come up in the search result. Uh, so in that case, they can click on the thumbnail or the exhibit title and they would go straight to um, the item show page in that exhibit. So those are kind of the two, two options that um, they would have in that standard uh, search results uh, list view. So here's a slightly different um, uh, example result set from a search. Um, I wanted to, to show a different example where this is maybe a search where they have, they did some sort of search where they have many, many items returned. Um, and so this is where um, being able to use the facets um, could uh, be, be helpful. Uh, our plan is not to show too many facets um, in this, this sidebar because at, um, facets are often kind of tailored to or more relevant to the content in a specific exhibit and trying to, uh, we want to, at this level, we want to show facets that would have value across um, all the exhibits um, and not have a mix of uh, values that, that kind of don't make sense when you're combining them for many, many different exhibits. Um, so uh, a couple of the, uh, examples here, I'll just show quickly. Like, so they, the user's got a, a big result set and they might want to narrow it down. One possibility uh, we're, we'll explore, um, maybe not do this in this first version, but something uh, that I think could be useful is um, they click on this exhibit sub subject area facet and they would see um, the different areas that we currently use to tag our exhibits, uh, not exhibit items, but exhibits themselves to group them into different <coughs> arts and humanities and maps and geography. Um, so that would allow the, the user who, for example, is interested in geography to narrow down these results just to those 12 exhibits that um, have been uh, tagged as related to maps and geography. 
another possibility would be to have an exhibit title facet. Um, again, if we have um, 100 exhibits uh, uh, and the user does a search, that's a pretty broad result set. Um, showing the titles and the, the number of results in each exhibit uh, might let the user very quickly click on a, a given exhibit title and just see the results that are in that exhibit in the same results view. So that's the, the, the basic idea. Um, the other, the other um, facet I wanted to uh, mention that could be, I think, very useful across all exhibits is the state range. So this would be our date range um, slider uh, facet, which enables somebody to sort of visually um, uh, specify a date range of interest. So the user gets a big result set and says, I just want to see the items that were from 1950 to 1970. They could use the date range facet and very quickly uh, see all the results from all the exhibits that were only in those two decades. Okay, so this is the, the basic idea for, for the, the search results um, in, in the basic default list view. Um, in our individual exhibits, we often have uh, other types of results uh, views or different views you can uh, look at the results in. Uh, and I think the one that makes the most sense maybe to put into this search across exhibits uh, feature would be the gallery view. Um, which just gives the user an alternative way of looking at the results that feature the, um, the item thumbnails a little more than this view. So that's, that's the gallery view. And then um, a possibility that uh, we're, we're going to look into is providing a different way of essentially grouping the results. So the examples I've shown so far are all just flat results. Each result item is one item from one exhibit. Um, the idea with the group by exhibit option, oops, just did that on accident. Uh, the group by exhibit option um, is more, probably would be more useful for a user who, again, is trying to find, um, has a particular topic in mind and uses a search term just to, to search on that topic, but is more interested in finding the exhibits um, that are relevant to that result rather than this very specific search result item. So by grouping uh, the results into the, into the exhibits, the user can very quickly scan through the results and see which exhibits uh, have items that are relevant to their, uh, their search. And again, here, there would be a couple options uh, for the user to uh, navigate from a result. Um, the one would be uh, similar to what I showed before, they could click on the title or the thumbnail of the, the exhibit, and they would go to the home page of that exhibit. Um, but if they were um, particularly interested in the specific results uh, that were in that exhibit, they could click on this view for results in exhibit, in exhibit, and they would go straight to, ideally, the search results page uh, for that exhibit with those exact result items. Um, shown. And then finally, um, we had both a list view and a gallery view for the all flat results. And the group by um, option, we could also have a gallery view, um, which would be very similar to the list view, except for it'd be a little more compact um, because we would omit the um, exhibit description and display it slightly differently. Uh, but this would be another way for the user to very quickly scan through uh, results that matched uh, many exhibits and to see the exhibits that, that were relevant. And again, the, the user would have those same two options of either going to the exhibit homepage or going to the search results page with the um, relevant results uh, displayed. And so that's the, the plan for this, um, this feature. Um, the, Team hasn't really started working on this, so not everything I've shown is guaranteed to be uh, implemented, at least in our first um, attempt at this. Um, we may, you know, take this in stages, uh, so not everything you've, you've seen is, is necessarily going to be available when we release this, but this is sort of our general goal for the, the search across exhibits feature. 
So stay tuned um, to the next uh, demo or two, and hopefully we'll be able to show you some initial implementation of this feature.